Hello boys, how are you? Hope you are all safe at home. Today I am going to start with unit 4 poem that is Ant and the Cricket. This is adapted from Aesop Fables. You would have learned fables in your lower classes. Fables is nothing but they are all, it is a traditional story, conveys a moral lesson. And usually in the characters are animals, birds and insects which are personified as human beings. Throughout this poem, the poet has used only personification as a poetic device because here animals, birds and insects are personified as human beings and it is a narrative poem. Okay, is it clear? It is a narrative poem and it teaches the importance of hard work and planning. The main theme of this poem is that it teaches how to be wise and how to save for the future. Here, the two characters in this poem are the ant and the cricket. The ants are known for hard working, whereas the crickets are symbolized for laziness. So today I will start with one the explanation of this line for the poem. You just follow the stanzas, explanation for the stanzas. Take, the, take your book, take the first stanza. A silly young cricket accustomed to sing through the warm sunny months of gay summer and spring began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come. So in this first stanza, the poet explains that the cricket, here cricket is personified as a human being, a silly young cricket. He used to sing day and night throughout the sunny months and he was in a happy mood. When winter came, he just started to complain that he could not able to find any food. His cupboard was empty. As the winter has come, the whole ground was covered with snow. Even he could not able to find a crumb on the snow covered ground. Even he could not able to see the flood because usually during the winter season, there will be no growth and even not a leaf on a tree. So he just thought of going and asking to ant to give him some food. Oh, what will become, says cricket, of me? At last, by starvation and famine made bold, and dripping with wet and all trimming with gold. Away he set off to a miserly ant to see if to keep him alive he would grant. So the cricket becomes worried about himself. He questions himself what will become. He felt very sad because if he goes, hunger and what is mean by starvation? That is a extreme hungerness. If he goes hungry and there will be a scarcity of food. So because of these two main points, one is what here? The starvation and famine. He made him brave to go and ask the ant for some food, dripping with wetness and trembling with cold. He set off to a miserly and he goes to that miserly and what is the meaning of miserly? One who is very, uh, what to say, very ungenerous, is not at all generous to give something, to give away in charity, to, so, to see if to keep him alive, he would grant. So, to keep him alive, so he goes and asks, okay, he made the dripping cold, made him brave so that he could go and ask the ant to give him some food and shelter from rain and the mouth full of grain so that he could able to survive and that too he is not begging here he wished only to borrow and that he may repay it tomorrow this shows that how this cricket is very lazy if not he must die of starvation and sorrow says the ant to the cricket I am your servant and friend. So he goes to the ant. He asks the ant to give him some a grain and a shelter so that he could able to survive the winter. But what the ant says here, the ant replies to the cricket that yes, of course, it is a servant and the friend. But the ants never borrow and they were never lend. That is the characteristics of the ant. But tell me, dear cricket, did you lay anything by when the weather was warm? So the, the ant questions the cricket. When there was summer, what were you doing at that time? 
why you didn't save anything for the winter quote the cricket not i this quote is nothing but said this is used in the old english before the first person or the third person is it clear so the cricket said no i didn't save anything my heart was so light i was very happy the whole summer the day and night i was dancing and singing because all the nature for all the nature looked to him very happy and gay you sang sir you say so the ant questions him so you are saying me that you were singing the whole day and night go then says the ant the ant gets angry here and it says go out from here and dance the winter way how you spend your summer holiday summer the same thing you do it during the winter also you go and dance thus ending he hastily lifted the wicket so the ant what he could quickly he lifted the wicket wicket is nothing but a door and out of door turned the poor little cricket so the ant chased him out of its house and he said he will not help because the ants never borrow nor they lend so it says to the cricket go and dance the whole winter so that you will be happy in the winter also folks folks are nothing but people the people call it as a fable as i already told you fable is nothing but a traditional story which conveys a moral lesson here so what is the moral lesson here that the ants are hard working and they are pre planning everything whereas cricket they are all very lazy the whole summer what it was doing it was dancing and singing happily without saving anything for its future so the people call it as a fable and this advice is not only for the crickets because here the poet says that some crickets have four legs and some crickets have two legs here the two legs mentions it compares to the human beings is it clear folks call this a fable i will warrant it true some crickets have four legs and some have two the crickets animals here first he says about the animals which have four legs and next he compares some have two is nothing but the human beings some human beings are same like cricket they will be always wasting their time even if they earn something they will be spending it during when they are young but once when they are attaining the old age they have nothing to say survive it so it is a advice from the poet or from the fable that you should save for the future you have to because we are all working hard when we are young and we are spending it but we are not saving for the future that's why this fable compares some human beings to cricket here because the crickets are very lazy they are not planning for the future so it is wise to save for the future yeah that is the moral which has conveyed through this fable here now i'll go with i'll just give a gist of this the whole poem the first stanza explains that the uh, cricket the whole summer okay he was dancing and singing and he did not save anything for the future so when he came to know that he didn't save anything for the future during the winter he went to ant he begged ant to give him some food and that too he asked he is only borrowing and he will lend it tomorrow but the ant they are all not they are uh, they don't give any charity here so he just turns away turns him out of the door and it says that you go and dance the whole winter as you pass your time during the summer so it chases him out and it gives what that the cricket suffers the whole life the except uh, the ants made the ant made it clear that ants never borrow nor lend he also enquired the cricket if he had saved anything when the weather was fine the cricket answered that it had sung day and night enjoying the summer the ant threw the cricket out and stated as in a stern voice it should dance in the winter season too in his concluding lines the poet affirms that it is not only for the cricket but also for the human beings it is applicable for the human beings that they have to save for the future okay boys now you just take your poem and mark the figures of speech first stanza a silly ant cricket accustomed to sing so this line denotes personification next 
oh what will become says cricket of me stands a third first line this also denotes personification the whole poem all the lines denote what your personification if you take the last stanza some crickets have four legs and some have two this poetic device is metaphor here because the human beings are compared to animals here so he means the human beings who are like cricket waste their earnings for all nature look gay for all nature look day here it is a repetition of lines if you see in this whole poem only three poetic devices are used first one is personification where the animals or inanimate objects are compared to human beings so the whole poem all the lines it refers to what your personification last line some crickets have four legs and some have two it represents metaphor then for all nature look day it is repeated twice that is called as repetition